life. What's up guys, Tiny Tiger here with another video on reptiles. I got a couple requests to do my Pac-Man frog over there. So today will be about the Pac-Man frog care. Those of you who have been watching, you know, I've already done a few care videos like the Jewel Lacerda, Bearded Dragon, Blue Tongue. So we'll move on to doing the Pac-Man frog. So for this setup, this, he is in, he, he's a male first of all. He is in a Exoterra mini wide. It's 12 deep, 12 high, and 12 long. He is back there. He is a strawberry pineapple more. They're not too terribly active and he's still relatively small, so this small enclosure is fine for him now. If he gets once he gets bigger, I'll probably move him out to something uh, a little larger, just like a ten gallon. Um, <clears throat> as for now though, they are very active. He's pretty active right now for some reason but um they are very active they spend most of their time burrowed in the substrate he actually spends a lot of time in that hide he made a home in there normally when he moves out of a certain spot that he likes burrowed in he will poop somewhere so and it's usually in the back wall so that might be what he's doing back there uh, for the substrate I am using uh, Exoterra's plantation soil which is equivalent to the Zoomed's Ecora, same thing, different brand. Uh, you want to keep it moist, not damp. You don't want it so wet to where, you know, bacteria and fungus is going to start growing. So normally I like to mist everything and mist him every other day. Sometimes I'll take a look and see if it's already, you know, if it's still pretty moist. I'll just leave it alone, do it another day. Uh, that's a fake plant back there. I don't I don't have any real plants. I don't haven't really worked with doing anything bioactive yet. Might do something in the future. But a lot of people like to keep real plants. Sometimes uh pothos is good. Um over here is a water dish. It's shallow enough for him to sit in, which I've seen him sit in and use, I guess. He just kinda soaks in it, I guess. Um but it's not deep enough for him to drown in. They are not good swimmers. They don't swim. So, you guys don't want a big water bowl for him. Uh, these guys are originally from South America, Argentina, Brazil, those areas. So, their temperatures, you don't want to give them like super extreme temperatures because they burrow a lot. They don't sit out in the sun. <clears throat> So I like to keep them in room temperature. There's no supplemental heating I'm using here. The cage will heat up to about 78 to 80 degrees. It's recommended that they sit about 75 to 85 degrees. So I sit in around the middle. So that's pretty perfect. So uh, this light here is not no special lighting. It's actually a mini mini dome. Yeah, it's a mini dome, and that bulb is actually like a five watt nightlight bulb that I just bought at a uh, Walmart so it generates no heat um, I use it mainly for viewing purposes and because the that lamp is also connected to my timers down there it kinda gives him a day and night cycle I know that um, some some keepers like to keep their Pac-Man frogs in like storage containers, Tupperware with no lighting at all. Some people would like to give them UV, UVB. Uh, honestly, it's whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. They really don't need it. They can live in the dark forever, and they'll still be super healthy. I just give mine light for viewing and uh, day and night cycles. These guys also eat a lot. They're like garbage disposals. 
they will eat and eat and eat and keep eating until they throw up and then keep eating more. So um, you guys want to definitely set up like some kind of feeding schedule. I have mine set to eat every other day and I only feed them about two or three insects. Normally uh, medium doobie roaches or large crickets. He really likes crickets. He doesn't care too much about roaches. Normally whenever he eats, I try to feed it to him, he'll spit it out. I've only ever successfully got him to eat maybe three dubia roaches total. Other than that, he'll eat super worms and he'll eat crickets. A lot of crickets. Large ones, of course, because he can definitely take it. He keeps turning around. He's doing something back there. Being mischievous and whatnot. He's a pretty cute little little frog. When I first got him, he was um, the size of a quarter. And with the feeding schedule I've given him, he's grown quickly in like two weeks. He's now a little bigger than the size of a half dollar. So it's not like he's starving, nor is he malnourished, because he's getting big. And I, I mean, you can notice how big he's getting. Um, so I'm going to actually mist him. I want to bring my mister over. I haven't misted him yet, so I like to give her some water right now. My fiance normally likes to feed him. She thinks it's cute when he eats, so I'm just gonna leave that to her tomorrow uh, today. Oops, sorry guys. So you guys can see. Missed a little bit here, missed a little bit there. And there you go, there's some water. These guys are very active after rainy seasons. So when it once it rains, they'll come out, they'll eat, do whatever. Most of the times when it gets too, too dry, they'll just sit burrowed away and just wait for the next rain well there you go guys that is my Pac-Man frog care and setup I need to clean that water bowl anyways uh, I'll be doing another video soon I'm probably gonna be doing one of these two guys over here oh hey it's the morning so I guess he just woke up literally the lights just went on 30 minutes ago but, um, like, subscribe, stay tuned for the next one. I'll be pulling up another care video of something, one of these guys soon. Thanks, guys.